So once you've built the survey, once you've collected and you've got some responses, we'll go to the analyze section now. I'm just going to go to the survey I've made earlier. There you go. And we'll come to analyze. Um, so here you can see 528 responses were claimed. So we'll just click here. So here we have um, an example of the workplace stress survey report for the entire data set. 600 people were invited to complete the survey, 528 completed it. And these are their results based around, as Rob covered earlier, the management standards. Um, what we've done here is in terms of support, support has been broken out into two factors, one for manager support and one for peer support, as there is a difference between those. And the scores are ranged from one being poor and five being desirable. Um, and so it gives you the factors with the highest mean scores. So within peer support, if work gets difficult, my colleagues will help me had a score of 3.5. Um, the lowest mean scored questions relationship. There is sometimes friction or anger between colleagues. So that's a issue there as well. Then it breaks down each factor into the questions asked. So I have to work very intensely or I have to neglect some tasks because I have too much to do is the lowest scoring question within this factor. Um, it also then gives you the breakdown of the scores by role. So you can see that senior management tend to have a less favorable role view than warehouse workers. There will be a performance score here of your benchmarking data, but that will be coming. Um, the more users that sign up to the tool, um, the more we'll be able to deliver a statistically accurate data set for you. Um, it does break this down for each factor. So within control, um, you've got the same again, managerial support, does this for every factor until you get to the end. And then at the end of the report, it will give you some next steps. So based on the lowest scoring questions, it gives you some priorities for improvement. Um, within demands, we give you some suggestions for then you as the um, representative within the organization to go away and make some recommendations. Obviously, the suggestions are only as valid as, as what we can tell you based on the data, but it, then it's up to you within the organization to go, ah, right, I see that and, and join the data together. If you did need any help with that going forward, there is always um, the HSC psychology team who are happy to help you with that. For further support, we do include their details here as well. You've also got Appendix A, which will include all of the demographics for you. So you can see how the data was broken down. Um, warehouse workers equated to 22.7% of the data. 81.8% um, were contractors. We've also got then Appendix B as well, which shows you the open-ended questions. Then you've got your tables and charts section. So this section here enables you to have a look at the data really quickly. You can download any of these tables and charts to use within your own reports. We've got some summary charts here. So summary of charts by role. It's a nice chart. Enables you to see the different views of the roles for each factor. So you can see that, um, senior management tend to have a lower score in comparison to supervisors. So you have different mean scores there overall. Then you can break down each of the results by the factor. So within factor one, you can break the results down by department. So you can see the different view, department C there having a more unfavorable view compared to department A and department B. Um, you can also break down the data by questions. So you can look into a specific question. For example, I have to work very intensely. And here you can see the results based on that. So um, senior management and supervisors have to work more intensely in comparison to the warehouse workers. You can also then apply a filter to all of the data. Um, so you might just want to run a report for those in department, let's have a look, department A, in which case you can run that report, apply those changes, and then now all of the data and anything within the tables and charts sections will be applicable just to those within department A. I'll just show you how the report will come out. 
can apply multiple filters at the same time. Um, but it's worth bearing in mind that if you apply a filter that filters the data down to a sample size of less than 10, you won't be able to run a report. I'll just try and show you how that works. The reason for that is um, obviously um, if you can filter down too much, what it will enable you to do is actually identify who the individual was um, that was responding and therefore it wouldn't be anonymous. Um, and so the reason we try not to let you filter down for that reason is is for that. We, we try and protect some of the workers so that they then give you more statistically accurate data. In this case, it's still got 24. So yeah, if, if you run it for a sample size of less than 10, you wouldn't be able to get to that point. However, you can go to the raw data at any point by coming to the collect phase, coming to responses, and you can download any of the raw data here.